guys, what's up? I'm Lauren Mayhew, and today I'm gonna introduce you to one of my best friends, Chef Toba, who's gonna teach us how to make a safe catch tuna cake. Um, I'm just a beginner, so wish me luck. Hi, I'm Chef Toba. I'm a private chef, and as a private chef, I'm gonna make sure I'm using the highest quality ingredients on the market, and if I'm gonna use a canned product, I'm gonna make sure it's the best that there is. For your ingredients, you will need two cans of safe catch tuna, half diced red onion, half a cup of quick oats, and an egg. Then for the salsa, on top, we're gonna have half a cup of diced mango, one tablespoon of diced red onion, half a lime, two tablespoons of cilantro, and you can either use chili powder or chili flakes, doesn't really matter, but you just wanna get that spice with the mango. And then for our cilantro avocado sauce, it's really simple, only three ingredients. We're gonna have avocado, cilantro, and lime. Let's get started. For the tuna cakes, we're just gonna put all the ingredients in our bowl, and then you're gonna add one egg. And then you're just gonna mix that up and you're gonna season to taste. Okay guys, so I'm sure Chef Toba was much more precise with all of the measurements and ingredients, but I don't have a measuring cup, so I just kinda winged it. All right, to our blender, we are going to add avocado, half a bunch of cilantro, half a fresh squeezed lime, and the last thing we're gonna add is like a fourth cup of water. So you're gonna wait until your pan is hot and then you're gonna put some olive oil on there. I'm fancy, so I put my tuna cakes into a little mold, but this is completely optional. Okay. It is time to fire it up. I am going to fry these tuna cakes, made with safe catch tuna, for two minutes on each side on medium, per Chef Toba's instructions. That is the sound of some gourmet cooking. Down when I am in your kitchen. Press down on it so it gets compact because we don't want it falling apart when we flip it. I love doing this. Tuna cakes accomplished. So for our mango salsa, we're gonna mix our mango, red onions, and cilantro together with some lime. And then we're just gonna add some salt, then red, step in our plating is we're gonna put on the avocado sauce. So we're gonna dab some on the side of the plate. And then you can do this with the back of the spoon. I'm fancy, so we'll use an offset spatula. But we're just gonna swipe it across the plate. We're gonna put our tuna cakes on. And last 